hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe like comment and share so in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful structure design using a fishing line this is very easy to make and it can be used to design any outfit it can be used to design a ashray b or even an english outfit so without wasting much of our time let's just get started welcome back guys so for what i made if you watch the intro video i used 11 yards of fishing line for this so i will tell you the measurement of my fabric shortly so the measurement of my fabric is 22 inches this 22 inches by 30 inches long so it is the um, 22 inches by 30 inches long so what i will just do now is to make a tiny line on my fabric just to make a tiny line just like the, the line is like quarter inches wide and the distance between each line is three quarter inches so the line is quarter inches and the distance between each line is three quarter so this is it on my sewing machine right now so i start by making the first line just like this it's very easy just make sure you follow this procedure if you have this kind of sewing machine you will notice that the presser foot this tiny presser foot at this other side is quarter inches so you can just use that as your guide and if you don't have you can just measure quarter inches just make sure you are following quarter inches and please make sure the the hole is wide enough because if it is not wide the fishing line will pierce through the material and it will go out the other way so just make sure the, the line is wide enough and i forgot to mention earlier the fishing line i use is 1.4 millimeter they are 1.0 they are 1.2 you can use 1.2 and 1.1 and it will work perfectly for what i did so i don't know about the 1.1 or other ones but i make use of 1.2 and 1.4 and it has worked really well for me so you just continue doing the line just like that leaving like a three quarter inches distance between each line you can reduce it if you want maybe to, you can make it like half inch and you can increase it to like one inch but don't make it more than one inch because if it is wider than one inch it will not bring out that effect very well so you just continue doing it until you get to the end of your fabric just like that so for the fabric i use if you did not yeah that's earlier this fabric is 22 inches by 30 inches long and i use 11 yards of fishing line for it so the fishing line this is sold 15 era per yard you can buy the pack there's a pack of it i don't know how much that is sold but you can just buy the pack if you want to do plenty like if your design is very much so you just continue sewing like that so after sewing this is what it will look like though i'm not done here i'm just trying to show you what i've done so far so now after doing this you just start you continue by passing your fishing line make sure the end of that fishing line is not rough because if it is rough it will tear your fabric so make sure it is at least clean enough like it is cut it is cut correctly you know there's a way you can cut the fishing line and it will make it press or somehow just use a sharp scissors to cut it so that it will give it a good cut so after that you just keep passing this fishing line through it like this you just keep passing the fishing line through it just like this it is very easy you just keep passing it So just continue passing it through the hole till you get to the other side then you stretch it out you stretch it out before cutting so that you don't make it shorter than the hole you've made so you do the second part this is what i'm talking about you see the mouth was so hard for it to enter at first because the mouth of the fishing line was sharp 
it was kind of blunt kind of so if you want it to enter easily just use a sharp scissors to make a cut at once don't cut it like twice at so don't use a blunt scissors to cut the mouth of a fishing line if you use a blunt scissors to cut it it will make the mouth of the fishing line to be blunt so it will be dragging the material that is it will be making it won't go freely inside that's what i want to say it won't go freely inside the inside the organza fabric or whatever fabric you are using it won't go freely it will just be affecting the material and be tearing the material so you just keep doing this until you get to the last part of the old you've made so you just keep passing the fishing line just keep passing the fishing line into it so when you are done this is what it will look like this is what it will look like so as you can see this other part is kind of coily that is i've not ironed this other part that is why it is coily so this upper part is straight because i've ironed it so you need to iron it you know the fishing line come in a cycle a very round cycle so if you don't iron it this is how it will be looking but if you iron it it will look straight that is it will stretch it out and please when you are ironing it don't use a very hot iron on it because it will shrink the material so just make it at least medium heat so that it can just straighten it what we just need to do on this is just to straighten it so we don't need this to be hot so that it doesn't affect the net it can bond the net you know this organza fabric is not is not strong so this is what it looks like so you just style it you can style it whatever way you want to style it you can use it for your sleeve you can just put it around the bust area you can do any design you will see different designs online so you can just set for it online that is you set for it online so this is it after ironing and you can see as you can see it is looking straight and it is not coiled again so with this now you can easily make whatever design you want to make with it compared to the first one we've not ironed so you can see it is straight and this is it this is the length so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing for sharing for liking for commenting and i'll see you in my next video bye